Hello, and today I'm going to be showing you how to hand paint terracotta pots. This is amazing because it gives you the opportunity to customize the pots that you're putting your planters in so you can bring your own personality and vibe to them. And it's also fantastic for the holiday season because it's a great gift to give to others, to give to the plant lovers in your life. So it's a pot that's functional for their plants, but it's also really personal because you painted it. And don't you want to be the friend that gets to say, um, I actually hand painted that for you. And that's what we're going to learn how to do today. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll just quickly go over the materials with you. So of course we have our terracotta pots. You want to make sure that you have a drainage hole so that your plants can have drainage. That's really important in choosing a pot to work with. And now I'm going to show you the different paints I have. I have two brands here. I have the Martha Stewart brand and then I just have the Michaels Craft brand. Whatever acrylic paint you have, you can use as long as it's acrylic. I find that the more expensive brands sometimes do have better quality, but it's fine if you use ones from the dollar store or just the craft brand. You just may have to do more coats to get that solid color. Now I'm going to show you the paint brushes I have. I have a lot of paint brushes just because I paint in general. You do not need this many. I find it's good to have this sort of flat square head brush. I find that works really well with the pots. So just having a couple of those. I have a bigger one here for bigger pots. I actually found I mostly use the smaller ones because it gave me a lot more control. Here we have a plastic tray. This is just for putting your paints in. If you don't have a ready plastic tray, that's okay. You can use a paper plate, basically whatever you have to put paint on. And of course you want some jars of water to wash off the paint. Here I have some Posca markers. So these are just paint pens essentially. I like having these because it's great for adding details. So like little dots or if you want more fine precision because of the fine tip. Uh, you don't have to have these. These aren't necessary. You can just use your acrylic paints. I just added these on because it was nice for details. And I also have a little sheet of paper towel here. This is just for dabbing off excess water from the paintbrush. Here I also have a little old t-shirt. This is just for something that the pots can lie on when I'm painting. You can use newspaper, anything like that. And then finally, this is our finisher. So I have a few objects here. I have Mod Podge in a matte and a gloss um, just for finishing. And then I also have a spray paint finisher. You can use whatever you want. Um, that's just to have a couple options. Here I put some masking tape around this pot just so I can get a clean line. That's another tool you can use masking or painter's tape just to get clean lines if you want a color block. Right now I'm just starting off with the base layer. This is what I've done for a lot of the pots. I've kind of done a base layer color and then I've gone in and done designs over top. I just find that it makes it a little bit easier to get the colors to pop in the way you want. You'll probably have to do a few coats of this just to get a fully opaque layer. I like the quality of brush strokes, which is why I'm fine with using brushes. You could of course use spray paint if you wanted to get that spray paint effect. And what I'll recommend, you don't have to paint the bottom of the pots because no one is going to see that. And you don't have to paint all the way into the inside, but I would recommend painting down a little bit into the top. Most of your plant inside is going to cover up the inside of the pot, so you don't really need to bother painting the whole inside of the pot, but just painting down a little bit on the top layer so that if your soil doesn't come all the way to the top, then you can still see a little bit of the design instead of just immediately seeing the terracotta pot on the inside. And so go ahead and paint whatever design that works for you. Um, this is really your chance to get super creative and just sort of explore different ideas. You can go on Pinterest or other places to kind of find inspiration, but really you can basically go wild with your own designs. 
so I gave them all a coat of the gloss Mod Podge. I do recommend if you're doing a black pot to do a much thinner layer of this. It does dry clear, but unfortunately I did too thick a layer on the black pot, and so you can see some of the white streaks that you can't see on the white pot or the purple pot. I hope that you've enjoyed this video of learning how to paint terracotta pots, and I'm sure that your family and friends will be looking forward to some amazing planters for the holiday season.